Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to youtube.com slash one hour shower. So I wanted to talk to you guys more about musical intervention and some of the work that I may be doing that down there with them. So musical intervention is a place that my friend Adam opened up a little over a year ago. It's right here in New Haven, Connecticut, and it serves a bunch of different purposes. The first is that it's a safe space that's drug and alcohol free for people to go to. There's not many places like that, honestly. You have like the bars, the nightclubs, a coffee shop, a food shop, and then you're sort of limited. Like there's not many places for people to go and just hang out that's safe. Adam now provides that to the community. The second is that it's a place to go and write and record and produce original music. It's giving people that have these creative passions and desires that they're not, you know, actively pursuing, it gives them a chance to do that. And that's really cool. Some of the music that I have actually heard, it's really good music, like incredible music. Um, he also has open mic nights, rock nights, jazz nights. So it's like a place to go watch music too. Adam also brings his services to places, hospitals and schools and organizations. He goes and works with youth and makes music with them. And there's something to be said about making music it just brings out the best in people, you know? Programs like Adam's are incredibly important, and I'm just so happy to be a part of it on any level. And I don't know much about this stuff, and I'm excited to learn because uh, I, I really have so much to learn. Because I've been, I've been watching videos on YouTube, listening to podcasts, talking to friends and family of mine, just taking in as much as I can. And I'm learning so many awesome things. And I love talking about life. You name it, I love talking about it. I could like talk about it for hours, like the dynamics of this person and that person and that place and this place and why this happened and why that happened and how can it become better and what's the best way. Because I'm now trying to help other people, it's forcing me to learn to get that help myself. When you're stressed out, this is sort of something that you can do to feel better. I'm like, wow, why didn't I do that? Here's what you could potentially do, or here's an exciting and funny way to look at it. I'm like thinking, wow, that applies to me too. I wrote down a lot of different things, ideas, thoughts, questions that I'm gonna present to Adam, and I guess he has a small group of leaders down there in New Haven I'm gonna sit down with and sort of like talk to about where my head is at, what their expectations are, some of the things that I may need like to help me provide the services that I'm looking to provide. I wrote down all the videos that I made here on YouTube, and the cool thing about these videos and about self-help is that what may apply to me may not apply to someone else. And even if I made a video about like, let's say getting along with coworkers back three, four years ago, there may be things in that video that have changed that I disagree with now, that what may have been helpful for me back then is not helpful for me now, or I'm in a different workplace, or I work with more people or less people. So there's so many variables. I can make a brand new one now, today, and probably talk about like completely different things. You know, that's the cool thing. So, and I'm open-minded and I'm willing to accept that what I say may not be right or it may have been wrong. If somebody says, you know, you think about it this way, I may say, you know what, you're right and I shouldn't have done it that way or, or maybe there's a way to incorporate that. Here are the things that I've already covered in my YouTube video series. Starting, holding, and ending conversations, quitting smoking, impressing a partner's parents, impressing others, getting along with coworkers, family, friends, being polite, having manners basically, protecting others, girlfriends, boyfriends, yourself, falling asleep, Sleep, the importance of a sleep-wake cycle, knowing when someone likes you, being confident, honesty, getting through a breakup and hard times, winning people over, dealing with grief, diet and weight, remembering names and the importance in that, of that, being a faithful and loyal partner, getting free stuff in life, why not? Leaving bad relationships and job interview skills. These are some of the materials that I've already covered that maybe I can you know, bring to the program and, and build upon. I'm just excited to, to start this process and I'm gonna try and make videos every day to update you guys on and where I'm at and um, if you guys ever have any comments or questions or you hear something that you're like oh wait a second he's not thinking of it this way or like you know this may help him or, or this is what happened with me and, and it helped me if you guys ever have any of those thoughts or questions or comments please feel free to drop them down below because I'm ready to do this I'm ready to try it's gonna be a lot of work I have a lot to learn but I'm really excited to start anyway I'll talk to you guys soon and uh, I hope you have a safe and happy 4th of July peace out